Yo, 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 blah, blah, blah. All right. Do, do, do. Minecraft. All right. <clears throat> so, back to our hardcore, which I actually did realize. I just named it hard code. Ah, uh, good shit. Anyway. So since the last time, and it's going to take me a moment to remember exactly what the hell we've been doing. Um, what I've been doing off. So I, if I remember correctly, when I left y'all, um, we did not have a farm and stuff like that going on. Uh, got a couple of books here. I got a fortune two, which I'm going to put on to my pickaxe here. But first, there's something else we got to do. So my book, uh, enchantment area, is totally up, up to 30. If we toss that in there, we can see it's a 30 enchantment now. I made a couple more of the bookshelves and whatnot. Let me just show you around real quick. And then we'll get down to it. We're going to get some good gear today. So I figured out how villager breeding works. In order to breed, they need access to a bed. I should not have set my respawn point there. It doesn't matter. I can't respawn. Never mind. Uh, they need access to a bed and they need food. So that's why when I was trying to breed them earlier or previous episodes, they were not breeding. They didn't have a third bed um, that would allow them to, to breed. So since then, I've bred a couple more boys. And just, just two more. This one has uh, Fortune 2. This one has Curse of Vanishing. This one over here has Protection 4. All good in chance. We need a lot of emeralds and stuff, though. So our goal right now is to get 15 emeralds, or 18 at the most there. Get another Fortune to get that, and then we'll get our diamonds. That's the plan. Also, a Curse of Vanishing book, because that's so useful in a single-player hardcore survival uh, series. Anyway... So, what we need to do is we need to grab a book, or two, honestly. I'm, grab a, I'm just going to grab one book for now. All right. So, we're going to get a fortune book. But first, we need to get some stuff to trade in order to get uh, some more emeralds. Because we need 15 or 18. So, I put my farmer, as you can see, in this little, uh, little, little cozy hidey hole for him. This is what we can use to get some emeralds. Okay. I already got some stuff hidden here, but as you can see from the farm here, just going to do a real cap. I expanded the uh, the sheep farm. I don't know if I did this on stream or not, but a lot of sheep just in this pen. And then I expanded the cows just over here. A lot of cows there. And then this is the uh, the whole farm that uh, I, I made. We got carrots over here. We got potatoes here. Wheat here. There's uh, beetroots here, which are used for breeding the villagers. Got a bunch of pumpkins, and of course, a bunch of melons over there that we can use to eat and all that good stuff. So, let's start by getting some pumpkins so we can trade them for emeralds. And I suppose a couple more melons wouldn't hurt either just to get a little more health. One more. More melon. There we go. Okay. We'll just go until my axe breaks here, then we'll go grab some wheat or potatoes. Carrots? I think the villager wants carrots, right? Yeah. I don't think he wants wheat. Okay. Start here. Mow down the crops. Back up a bit. And do the next row. Oh, hold up. There we go. All right, collect these and just replant. Let me actually eat some melon first so we don't stop. Okay. Up, 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 up. All right. I'll we'll just replant, trade, and then we should have enough emeralds, I think. We might have to tap into the carrot farm, but we'll see. Since the last uh, episode, like I said, I expanded the farms and also did a little bit of digging to find some diamonds. And I found another note of diamond. So I think with all the diamonds that we've found, we should have enough to make a full suit of diamond armor once we get Fortune 3. So that'll be the plan for today. Now let's see how the carrots looking. I think they're mostly looking good. Okay. Let's grab some carrots. Uh, 
Man, I slept for like 12 hours last night, and I'm hella groggy. <laughs> Went to bed at 4 a.m., woke up about 4 p.m. today. Ugh. And then I played Cyberpunk until, uh, until stream, so... Cyberpunk's been fun, by the way. I, uh... Went on a journey of discovering what I wanted to, like, play as. Like, in terms of weaponry and whatnot. And... At first, I was like, oh, I want to be a stealthy person. I'm going to go around and just be stealthy and, you know, just kill people like that. So I was like, I'll try to get, like, a silenced weapon, use some, like, uh, stealth techniques to, like, just roam around and, like, just break people's necks and all that kind of stuff. Well, I got caught really easily. So I was like, okay. And then I found a shotgun and started ripping people up with that, and I was like, maybe I'll just go shotgun, so I don't know. Um, and then the shotgun started to get underpowered. And so I was like, okay. And then uh, stealth actually got a little bit better. I started getting perks that are like, yeah, you can uh, get detected uh, less. Uh, the detection time's higher or something. I think is what it was. And so I was like, okay, that's cool. Damn it. I wanted the rotten potatoes. Oh, I can't put rotten potatoes in there. Damn. Anyway. And then I found the mantis blades in Cyberpunk. And boy, let me tell you. Those are probably my favorite weapons of all times. They're just so cool to look at, and, like interesting to use, because you can like charge up, and if no one like knows you're there, you can just like uh, destroy heads. Like there's like executions and stuff with them. Very nice stuff. Uh, I'm looking to increase the strength of those. You know, I'm just gonna throw these potatoes away. All right, so we got enough for... Not my clock. All right, we got enough for the book. Let's go get our fortune book. Combine them into fortune three. Put them on our pickaxe. And then we can go get our diamonds. All right. Hello, sir. I would like a book, please. Thank you. 21 emeralds do you got? Now you took the protection. I don't have enough for that. Okay. And then this boy here... You, you there? Oh, you, you trade wool, never mind. You don't have what I want. It's so weird coming into here and playing uh, <laughs> this hardcore world when I've been playing on my friend's multiplayer world and I have like full netherite and stuff now. It, it's, it's crazy. Like I have the best gear right now in my friend's world. But anyway. We got our, our pickaxe, so now it's time to go down and get our diamonds, and we'll see how many we come up with. So, if you remember correctly, we had one node previously that we had that we could get, and it was like a node of like three or four, and then I found another one that we can also check out and hopefully get a decent amount on. Then we can go into the nether maybe and get some uh, netherite stuff. Mm. Alright, so... To keep track of where they were, because it was a huge maze, I put the torches down. So if you see a torch on the ground, an indication of where the uh, the end of the, the emeralds are. So if you look down there, I can see the, demer the emeralds. The emeralds. The, 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 damn, the diamonds. I keep trying to say diamond and emerald at the same time. I don't know why. But anyway, let's go grab these diamonds down here. All right. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen diamonds. Not bad. I think we need twenty-four for a full set. I'm just gonna destroy this uh, torch. We'll go down to the next one, which hopefully we get at least twelve. If not, we're gonna have to do a little more. Hey, Blackjack, welcome back. Yeah, I took last week off because I was uh, not feeling great. So I was like, I'll just not stream and get better, you know? Okay. Well, I'm glad you could catch one, Blackjack. Okay, last diamonds are right here. Oh, man, was really only three? Come on, come on, come on, four. No, we're too short. Darn. Okay, well... We were close, at least, to getting a full set of diamond. I guess we can... 
We don't have to get the boots right away. I can get some gold boots, that way the piglins won't attack me in the nether. Okay. Let's first of all, I want to get back closer to, uh... Home. At the end, we'll, we'll do a couple, a couple of strips of the strip mine. See if we can get anything, uh... Better. I will level them on eight. Okay. Actually, I think I want to go one up, maybe? Maybe I do like... Maybe, maybe, maybe I do like right, right, right here. Right, 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 right here to the wall. Oops. Let's switch that one. All right. Lava. Ooh, there's some diamonds. Hell yeah. Well. Mine around them first to make sure there's not going to be lava that's going to eat them up. Ooh, that's a nice amount of diamonds. We can maybe get our, uh... oh my golly. I think we're going to be able to get all of our stuff that we need. Oh boy, okay. Okay, yep, that looks good. Pop that there, pop that there. Oh yeah, 29. That'll work. That'll work nicely. Now then. Chest piece. Pants, boots, helmet. Oh, I got planks down here. Do not. All right, full diamond been obtained. Now then, we just need to uh, gain some levels and actually do a level thirty enchantment. Put mending on it, and it'll be perfect. So let's see what we can do in terms of levels here. Try to feed our cows and our uh, sheep and see if we get anything good there. Okay. Uh, blocks. Boop. Do I have any more diamonds? I do not. Three? Yeah. All right. Shit, I made a shovel. Well, that was unfortunate. Made a shovel instead of an axe. Ah, well, of course we're one diamond short now. Let's just go ahead and put those away. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there too. Not like I need another shovel since I already have efficiency for mending on it, but you know what? Fuck me. Okay. Take my iron off. My diamond on. Boop. Boop. Okay. For that, and let's put away my bed and my water. Uh, let's see. What do I need for the nether? Nothing really stands out that I need right now. Yeah. We can go with this. That in there. Actually, give me these stuff. I'm going to put it back over here. Okay, excellent. We got food, we got compass thing. That's all we need right now. Mending, I guess I can put mending on some of my armor here. No, wait, if I do that, I can't enchant it with the enchanting table. Let's not do that. Okay. Don't think I have enough animals to like get to level 30 for an enchantment, but we will. Is there a cow in there? How did you get in there, cow? Did I have them abandoned or something? Let's collect some wheat. Feed our animals. And then we'll see if we get enough levels to enchant something. Hmm. 
Yeah. All right. Should be more than enough wheat. Oh, just one stack? I thought I had more. Really? That was all just one stack of wheat? Whatever. Okay. Come here, cows. I really do need to get some chickens, though. I did not want to place that there, darn it. Excuse me, cow. Out of the way. Don't make me hit you. Let's actually switch back to my... Uh... There. Oh, I gained one level from my cows. That's so much, so much experience. All right, how about you guys over here? And actually, I'm going to kill this cow real... Oh, wait, I don't have my... Never mind. Come on, sheep. Breed more so I can get more... Oh, another cow's over here. I guess I can breed the cows that are here. Here you guys go. There's also a cat in here, so that's lovely as well. All right, got a couple more. Anyone want some? There you go. Well, again, a couple levels. Nothing too crazy, though. Do I have shears in my box over here still? Nope, I was out. Okay, well, let's go ahead and store the uh, seeds in the hopper container here to automatically make them into bone meal. Okay. Well, if we can't get levels to breeding right now, we can at least go down to the nether portal and get levels through mining gold and quartz and all that fun jazz. It's just... Boop! Okay. Is that a fucking creeper in the wall there? What? Bruh. Bro. Actually, no, hold on. I want to make a uh, crossbow before we go in there. Because I would like to have something to kill ghasts with. Hindsight and all that. I always tend to forget about ranged weaponry. And then it's like, oh, I, uh, I don't have anything to kill these ranged things with. Do I actually have any arrows? I gotta have some feathers and stuff I can use, right? All right. Arrows. There's some plants don't matter. I got... I got two arrows. Cool. I have no feathers because I have not encountered any chickens. Okay, well. Um... What is it? It's steel and wood. Uh, for the crossbow, right? Stick, string, and that. Okay, right, right, right. Here's my string. Oh, I need the tripwire. Going. And then a crossbow. Going. Done. All right. Throw the materials back here. Throw the wood. Throw that. I can get wood in the nether. Never mind. All right, we got three shots on our crossbow. Not great, but it'll do. I don't know why I'm left clicking with the crossbow. Uh, okay. And now let's go. Splash. And now the creeper's gone. It must have despawned. Okay. All right, into the nether for the first time. Let's see what we get. Oh, no, we've been here. Never mind. I forgot. We came here to, like, look for uh, soul sand, and we couldn't find any without maybe dying. So we were like, yeah, never mind then. Okay. Right, 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 right. So let's just... Uh, I also don't know why I brought my clock. I could have just left that there. But, uh, you know. Okay. I think I want to go this way. Alright, I don't have a uh, axe. 
sticks. I was gonna cut out some wood. Let me just get some nether rack real quick. I'm gonna do that. I think there was a way up here. Let's go check this out. some quartz. We can go grab that. Gold over there, too. Ooh. We do have a bastion that we could go to, but the thing is, with the bastions, I'm not quite well geared or armored right now to take out the piglin brutes, so that would definitely be a bad idea, I think. Come on. That way, and then do do do. Nah. All right. Well, I thought there was more than that, but okay. What level are we at? We are at 58. Damn, we have to go way down to get any good ancient scrap. Actually, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we uh say screw this, and we uh we just start digging try and get some ancient scrap. We'll find a bunch of quartz and all that other good jazz as we're uh, digging through there, so we'll just uh, get to like a low point here. Actually, I think we dug that a little bit here, right? Yeah, there. Grab that gold while we can. Okay. I'm just gonna boop. Boop. Okay. I guess I did start digging down. I forgot. Thirteen. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna switch to my, uh, my torches there because I don't necessarily need a shield while we're strip mining down here. I did not mean to drag my thing across there, damn it. Alright, come on, let's get to 30 levels, baby. Okay. We're just gonna mow through some of this. Hey, ancient scrap. Hell yeah. Put that on my toolbar so I can remember how much we have. All right. One down and what is it like six fifteen to go to make full armor? I don't know why that didn't flow this way, but okay. That, and then... Eh. There we go. Put up the fire. Lava just above me, huh? Okay. Thank God for efficiency pickaxes, and that nether rack is like very, very brittle. Another one. Hell yeah. Two more and we can have our first piece of uh, netherite armor. What was that? Oh, that's quartz. That's fine. I can get quartz. 
Eight levels anyway to enchant. Oh, right. My pickaxe has mending on it, so it's going to that instead of levels. I'm dumb. Oh, well. The more, uh, durability my pickaxe has, the more we can mine, right? At least quartz levels it up pretty quick, so... Hopefully we can find some more, uh, quartz or gold in here to outpace our mining. That's a huge main a vein of uh, quartz there. And I leveled up! Hell yeah, we outpaced it. All right. uh, up, please, thank you. Hey, there's another one. Hell yeah. One more, baby, one more. Go. Wait for it to die. Oh, there's some gold over there. No gold. No! Oh my god. Okay, fine. Alright, enough of the fire, please. Biome are we in right now? The warp forest still. Be more quartz. I should uh, drop some nether rack here. Kind of branch off my gold and my quartz so that way I can actually get good stuff and not just all another rack. Go. Hello number four. Come to Papa. Okay. Got our first piece of netherite gear. so I can get my health back up. I'd at least like to get to level 30 so I can get my chest piece enchanted. Where are we at now? Still a warp forest. Okay. okay. You've not played any of the new stuff in the Nether? Oh, Blackjack, my man, you're missing out. So this uh, this ancient scrap or ancient debris stuff, you basically put it in a smelter or a, a furnace, whatever, and it makes uh, one to one. So one ancient debris goes into one ancient scrap. And with ancient scrap, you put it in a crafting bench with four, uh, so four ancient scrap 
and four gold ingots gives you one netherite ingot. And the netherite you use in a blacksmithing table, I believe it is, uh, or like a smithing table is what it's called, something like that. And you uh, can get a netherite bar. You put like a piece of armor or, or weapons into the, the blacksmithing table with one of the, uh, the netherite bars and it turns it into a netherite piece of armor or weaponry or tool, whatever. And uh, basically the netherite weapons are the, the best in the game. They're stronger than diamond. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean once we actually get back home and uh, you can see what it looks like. I just figured while we're here I'd like to at least get 30 levels and then maybe get some more ancient debris? But ancient debris is really rare, so you, you don't find it much. The fact that I actually found four in uh, this short amount of time is quite uh, lucky, I would say. Despite the fact that I have this huge open cavern just mine. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's still zombie uh, pigmen, uh, but there's also zombie piglins, and there's uh, piglins as well. There's also these like uh, pig... Like, what are they called? They're like, they're pigs. They're basically just pigs. They're like boars uh, that are really overpowered. I think they're the strongest thing in the game right now. They can like just yeet you uh, up into the air and cause you to have fall damage and stuff. Um, which is not great. Because the fall damage is what really fucks you up on them. No, I missed it. I missed it. Fuck. There we go. Trying to just hit the side of that there. Okay. Come on, go away. There's also these like uh, horrifying lava strider things that you can put a saddle on and use them to cross lava. And it is uh, the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Like, no doubt. The most fucked up thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Damn, I must be near a lava lake or something. I want this gold, though. Let me just yoink, and then boop, boop. No. No. I said no! Alright, got it down. Hell yeah. There's also a bunch of different biomes in the nether, which uh, I think you saw the one that was the, the forest type one. Man. Well, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Battery is, uh, we'll just, we'll just do that too. <laughs> okay. Really? Well, we can't go that way anymore. Not gonna deal with lava over there. Let's, let's go back this way. Nether gold is, is just uh, nuggets. You turn it into gold ingots by uh, the 9x9 nine nine recipe in the crafting table. There's no real difference. It is more useful, though. Uh, I mean, gold in general, not nether gold. Hey, Enderman! I don't know how you got there, but I'm going to kick your ass. Because you can't get me. <laughs> I don't have looting on this sword. Hey, I still got an under pearl, though. Hell yeah. That's one down. More to go. All right. Let me just uh, go over here. Go closer to the, the entrance. We went in that direction. I'm gonna go this way. Now let's turn a bit here. And start going this way.
Ah, damn it. Here we go. That's what I thought, Lava. Ain't got shit. This. Oh, it's part of my tunnel. Ha. Ah. You. Yeah, finally some experience. Not that it's going to me, it's just going to my pickaxe because I've dug so much, but what it is. Okay. It's the one bad thing about mending is that if you don't want your tools to get experience, it kind of sucks to uh, mine for experience here. Really use a soul sand. Still in a damn warped forest, though. Come on. How big is this warped forest I'm at? Oh, we got some basalt. I think we might be close to a basalt delta. We are, hell yeah. It's risky kind of mining upwards though. Since, like, so much of the nether has lava lakes on it. There's a lot of experience, though. Not a pocket. Cool. Kinda. This might be a mess. Oh, man, there's definitely gonna be lava up here, right? Can't even walk on this shit. Okay, hold on. Let me do that. It's not a torch. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Out of that area. Still in the basalt delta. Okay. I gotta be getting close to the surface, right? No, no, I don't. I'm, I'm nowhere near the surface, I don't think. I think uh, 50 or something's the surface. Getting out of the nether rack area, though. If we're lucky, we'll get out in an area that does not have lava above it. If we're unlucky, we're gonna have to run hella far away. Quicker than the lava can catch us, or else we will be screwed. All right, 49 now. I think you're crazy because you don't hear a Geiger counter. Maybe you do, actually. I think I heard it for a second there. I heard like the very like strained like <laughs> I like a Geiger counter. It was weird. Yeah, right there. Good catch. I didn't hear that until someone pointed it out. Usually it's, uh, 
covered up by the sound of mining. Okay, come on. Am I... Do I need to just dig in one direction now and not up? At what height is it? Is it the bedrock, like, ceiling? I forget. I'm probably gonna hit that, aren't I? Before I, uh... Find the exit to an open area. Let me just see if I, like, go over this way at all, if I can, like, find an exit. Or if I'm still just kind of... Yeah. Oh, of course. Need that. Go. Anyone know offhand what the, uh, the, the bedrock ceiling height is in the nether? Past 69. A good guess. I'll just do a one by one tunnel now. Screw it. Come on, let me out. I want to explore. We're at 100. <laughs> 17 now. Oh, there's bedrock. Well, shit. Definitely way too high. Let's go back down to like 70. So it was like 120? Also, I'm going to throw away some of my nether rock. I don't know why I threw it down in the way that I was going. That was quite foolish of me. There we go. Okay. We'll go like right here. Let's uh, just kind of cover up that area. Okay. We go we're out woo it's a uh it's actually a gorge okay that works too right let's uh let's go this way right after i I have not heard of their books, no. Go ahead and cut that off. All right, well. Surely is a thing, okay. Let's just not fall to our death. How about that? Ow. I don't read much. I'm gonna put a bunch of torches there so I remember my way back. Uh, Maybe we don't go down this way. I don't think there's anything for us down here, y'all. Do not think that there is. This looks like, uh, like death, to be honest. We try the other way. Yeah. 
surely there's something over this way too, right? Hey, there is. Okay. Another big ass gorge though. I've never seen a delta like this. Usually it's all been like flat, like neat ground, not like stacked up to the top of like nonsense. I will get this uh, this quartz though. Okay. Got that experience. All right, let's uh. First of all, let's mark down where the exit is at. Where, how did I get here? How did I get here? Oh my god, was it over here? Yeah. Okay. Go. Marked. Go ahead and seal up some of this lava so I don't accidentally touch it and burn myself. Look for anything that might uh, give us some experience. Wow, that was a, a real quick dead end, huh? I think there's more up here, though. Oh, ho, ho, you almost got me, lava. You almost had me. Hell yeah, more, okay. Hey, a slime. Hey, buddy. I need you. I want you to die so I can get your magma cream. Okay, seriously, can I not place blocks? I can, a smart person, am I dumb? Come on, mate. Oh no! I don't have inventory space. Crap. Okay, let's try this again. He's in the lava now. Nikes. Okay, let me build actually like over this. So it's easier for me to not like just get my shit kicked in. I'm also gonna go ahead and build over that. Ow. I had looting. Hello there, magma slimes. Little shits. Oh, there goes a magma cream. Ow, damn it. Little assholes. Ow! Oh god. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Could've been worse. To be honest. Could have been very, very worse. I don't want this one dead though. Okay, got a magma cream down here. Yo, we got two magma cream, hell yeah. Ugh. Uh, let's get uh, let's get out of here before I succumb to the uh, elements, huh? I always need to find like a, a blaze spawner or something, which would mean finding a uh, another fortress. Yeah, I think we're gonna just go ahead and go back home real quick, like. Okay, well, we uh, we got some some netherite stuff, which is nice. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Just back 
track through here. All right, let's go smelt this netherite. We'll get another right chest piece and then we'll come back on into here. Try and get more uh, stuff. Maybe we'll actually explore from the portal area instead of, uh... oh, hold on. Did I pass my tunnel? I think I did. Did I? I don't know. I dug so much. I definitely didn't curl back that way. Oh my god, I'm lost in my own like little tunnel area. Oof. There it is. <laughs> it's just one little thing I didn't have to lit up either. Goddamn. Let's 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 do. Go ahead and do that. That way I uh, have a way to know that it's out. Okay. Perfect. Really hoping I can get a lot more uh, levels from that, but whatever works. There's no, like, stuff on the walls around my spawn, are there? Oh, there's some, some quartz. We can go grab that real quick. Hell yeah, okay. Be excellent. Alright. Now, we go home. Maybe I should, uh, go on an adventure and try building another portal somewhere else that's not like just in the middle of nowhere okay first let's go to bed pass the day okay what else should i have in here i had mending and stuff okay First things first. I'm just gonna make a bunch of other blocks to cut down on all the stuff here. Perfect. Now let's make some gold. Easy peasy. Couple more. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. Materials. We'll store that. That. This quartz goes here. Ender pearl, the magma cream, gold nuggies. I'm gonna keep that stuff. All right. Uh, furnace. There we go. Going to scrap the ancient debris. Then I need a blacksmith table, which let me remember how to make that by Googling it. It is a four planks and two iron. Okay. Damn it. Okay. One, two. Actually, let me just be four. I just need four. The rest of that in there. Crafting bench. Those go there, these go there, boom, smithing table. All right, I'll go ahead and place that there. Ancient scrap is done. So, smith your ancient scrap, or ancient debris, you get your netherite scrap, combine it. Doesn't really matter, you can do it in any way you want. 
just as long as it's four scrap, four gold. Get another right ingot. Grab that there. Take your chest piece or whatever you want to upgrade off. Toss it there. Toss it there. And you get your netherite chest piece. So compared to the uh, the diamond chest piece, it's four armor, two toughness. Netherite is eight armor, three toughness, and one knockback resistance. It means you're not going to get pushed around as much. So the armor doesn't increase, but the armor toughness and knockback resistance does. And each piece kind of does that. So and this is how it looks. Kind of like just this grayish, blackish, purplish kind of armor. If you've not seen it before. So like the whole set will look sort of similar. And then it just kind of glows purple once you enchant it, which is neat. All right. We got that. It won't be knocked back nearly as much, so we don't have to worry about pigs hitting us. Let me just uh, do that. Okay. Now here's the question. Do we want to attempt to gain more levels to enchant our chest piece while in the overworld? Or do we want to go back to the nether and try to explore? That is the question. Hmm. We do have a zombie spawner set up. It's not very efficient, but it is set up. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do need more melon regardless. Do I still have any steel axes? I do not. I want a hoe, though. Give me the hoe. I'll just make a quick uh, iron axe. That was an idiot and wasted a diamond making a second shovel. Okay. Let's go grab some more melons so I can eat them. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't wait till I get a, a diamond axe with looting on it so I can, like, just get tons of melons. Okay. I'm gonna get a couple more while we're just here. All right. Shit. Well, that spot's not getting replanted. Actually, I have a fucking hoe. Usually, I don't have a hoe when that happens, but I do. So we'll just replant it. Here we go and toss the seed. Yeah. I meant to jump on top of the melon, but I'm just a big dumb. I love Kraken's ratty motes. They're always great. All right, cows, you want to get fed again and stuff? Here you go. Make more so I can get more uh, leather for books and stuff, my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need to find some fucking chickens. Sheep, how did you get out of your pen? Unacceptable. I feel like the, the babies can, like, jump up higher, and so they can get on top of the, uh, the wool fence for some reason. I don't like it. Yeah, I know there's cows and the sheep. I didn't have an axe to kill them before, but now I do. So we're gonna kill them now. Oh, that's a sheep that I killed. Hey, come here, baby cow! Don't you do it! Don't you run away from me! There's a couple of uh, baby cows. How are there three baby cows? I only fed them twice since... Uh... Damn it, come on. Where those little shits go? Stop hiding in the sheep, you jerks. Don't make your deaths harder than they have to be. I will kill all the sheep here to kill you. You know what? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey! No, hey! Oh, I bet the, the cow babies jumped in from 
when I had the wheat. There we go. It's dead. Shame the babies don't give you experience when you kill them. Alright. I think a couple more you need to breed. Here you go. There we are. One more? One more, one more, one more, one more? Yeah. Okay. God damn it, cows. They give you mutton. Babies don't give you nothing, though. The assholes. Alright. Let me combine these melons into melons. And I can trade this boy a couple of melons. There you are. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I think maybe we go on a quest for some chickens. Not like actual chickens, but like I want to get some uh, I want to get some eggs. That's what I'm trying to say here. If I get some eggs, I can get my own chickens and start from there and Chickens, since they're so small, they give you a nice big area. Now, where did my boat go? I swear I had a boat. Did I put it away? I may have put it away. Boat. I also need my bed. I think I put away in here. I did. Okay. Go. It is almost nighttime, but that is fine. I don't have a map, too. Is it in my gear chest here? It is. Where have I explored so far? All around over here? Haven't really gone southeast? Okay. Southeast is that way. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take, take a journey. Explore a little. Maybe we can find some, uh, some wrecked ships or something, you know? Now that we got you know, a full diamond and stuff. Should last us for a while, at least. Hopefully we can get a good, like... Maybe 40 levels while we're journeying around and doing stuff. And that way we could gain a decent amount of, uh... I need to go this way. We could get a decent amount of enchantments level 30 from our enchantment table. That'd be swell. I believe there were some... Ship, not shipwrecks, there was like icebergs over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, right over there. Not that they really, like, do anything for us, but they're cool to look at. I like them. I do need to get to land to sleep here quick, though, before we uh, get jumped by a bunch of drowned boys who have their shields. Or not shields, their tridents. Blech. Although maybe we don't sleep and we just kind of kill uh, monsters until you over there, cow. I'm going to kill you. Right, let's go kill this cow quick. Anything that I can kill to get experience, right? Ow. Why did you light me on fire, you asshole? Also, I forgot a water bucket. Damn. Oh, it's done. Okay. <gasps> Chickens! Hey, chicken, you got eggs? Hey, you got eggs, huh? Oh, you got eggs? Huh? Any of y'all got eggs? I think I can get some seeds, huh? <gasps> Is that another portal? Yeah, it is. Hey, baby. See if I can get some good loot from this, huh? Don't got any, uh, uh, uh. Cut down a tree real quick. Is 
that, open that, okay. Go and turn all this into that. Crafting bench. I want to use some wood planks to uh, block off this lava so I can get this block. There we go. Let's grab this loot chest. So we got a bunch of iron nuggies, some gold, and some golden tools. Ooh, a mending axe. That, that'll that actually come in handy. I'll, I'll keep that to, like, destroy pumpkins and stuff. The rest of this stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, there we go. Got it. These are cool. I like these. Like, uh, end portals, not the end portals, the, uh, the portals that are, like, damaged. They're always kind of cool to, to find out in the world, especially because they have loot next to them, but. It'd also be good if you were, uh, starting out and doing, like, a hardcore where you didn't, like, set up a base. You could use one of them to your advantage to, uh, make a actual nether portal to get into the nether without having to, you know, do a whole lot of work. There's already part of a frame there. Although I think you can't use the crying obsidian for, uh... I don't think you can use crying obsidian for a thing. Three, four. Alright, so is it that for defense? That's a gate. Damn it. Okay, it's the other way. I always forget which way it is. Meow. Me all the fences. Okay. Chicken, come. Come, chicken. Come, chicken, come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up an area here. Build a fenced area for these guys. Until I can get them to give me a bunch of eggs so I can make my own area, right? Oh man, exactly enough. I did not plan that. I was like, I'll probably have to resize it, but... No, it actually worked just fine. Yeah, you little shits. Welcome to your new home! Now lay eggs for me so I can get, uh... Get my own chicken farm going without having to put you all in boats. Take you across the ocean. Oh, it's not that... Eh, it's kind of far away. Alright, anyway... Let us continue journeying on. I'm just going to drop these seeds. What do we got over here? A big old normie forest biome, it looks like. Gah! Gah! Damn it! Stop! Go into the grass! Jerk! Do you give me any experience? Yeah, like half a bar. Ugh. Lame. As long as I have the map, I can quite easily find my way back. So I just gotta look at the position of the dot. And I can uh, get back home, so that's whatever. But for now, pork chops, right? Why did that one not die when I hit it the first time? The other ones did, but the other one did not. Are there varying levels of crit? Ah, yes, the pink flowers. He had a stronger will. Yeah, exactly. He wanted to live longer. Um, I don't see anything really neat out here. The one thing I don't like about these shaders is it makes it harder to see underwater. That's what's unfortunate. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. We 
We've never really gone exploring much. More icebergs. More sand. Sounds like a taiga was over there. A couple of sheep over that way. Yeah, I don't like this area. Oh, what's that over there? More trees? Yeah, more trees. I hate trees. Go for a ride. We'll just uh, zoom over here, see if we can stick near to the, uh, the water. Maybe spot any shipwrecks or something as we go over them. There's a turtle over there. Yeah, there's a polar bear. A couple polar bears. Nice. Look, that's just going to be a dead end, unfortunately. Well, shit. There's like nothing around here. Oh, is that a... Dark oak forest? Hmm? I thought I saw kind of like a structure right there from that uh, snowy cap. To my knowledge, there's nothing like actually in... Oh, there's something there. To my knowledge, there's nothing actually in the uh, like ice biomes other than like there's, there's villages occasionally. That's a big ass fucking nether portal, y'all. God damn. And a bee. Hey, bee. How are you hanging? Because we can go over here and take a look at that. God damn, that's a big fucking nether portal. I've never seen one that big. I wonder if they have different, like... Not different. I wonder if they have, like, more chests if they're bigger. Also, if you don't know, you can actually make, like, larger nether portals now. Very good, Blackjack. That is what she said. Okay. Any chests? Any chests around here? Let's see, one. A gapple. An obsidian and some flint. I'll take the flint. I don't care about anything else here. Oh, just one chest for this big nether portal? That's all, huh? Well, shit, fine then. I was hoping since it was like uh, an interesting looking one, there'd be more than just, you know, a chest there. Just a forest. We'd go over here, look at the other one. Dark forest, okay. What if I, like, got hella lucky and stumbled upon a forest? Or not a forest, a, a mansion. Dark forest mansion, right? Wouldn't that just be insane to find? I've actually never found one. Like, ever. Even in, like, normal survival or anything, I've never seen a woodland mansion. Like, I've seen them with other people play, but I've never seen one myself. You know what a woodland mansion is either? Man. You've been out of the Minecraft loop for a while. I think the woodland mansion is like a couple updates ago. It's not even the most recent. It's just like a big mansion that has like uh, special mobs in it and stuff and loot. And uh, they're kind of assholes to be honest. I think it came out the same update as the Phantoms did, that if you don't sleep, they come after you and stuff. But I see you over there, Skeleton. But yeah, apparently they're really rare, and you just find them in these uh, dark forest biomes. Which, uh, they're like three stories tall, so they're definitely something easy to see.
It's just they're really rare, so you don't really find them too often. Creeper. Damn it, no gunpowder. But uh, in the Woodland Mansions, you can get the uh, uh, the extra life like totem things. I forget what they're called. But if you like have them in your off, is it the offhand that you hold them? They like just bring you back if you die, which even in hardcore it works. So they'd be very handy to have, especially if you're doing like sketchy stuff. I hate trees. I hate them so badly. It's just more forest over that way. We can get up a little bit higher, see if there's anything that I can spot around here. Okay, we got nothing over there, nothing over there. Just more glaciers over that way. Glaciers over that way. A whole lot of nothing. Well, let's, uh, we'll head back west this way. And we'll just, uh, Head back home for now. Okay. I would burn it down. Burning down forests is not as easy as it you think. Because it leaves a lot of floating blocks, which is just a huge, disgusting nonsense, and I hate it. Okay. We're just going to go back home for right now, drop off the loot we got. I really wish that uh, I had some, like, shulker boxes. Because if I did, I would just, like, move around and, like, explore the world uh, without having to worry about, you know, not having stuff that I needed. Like, if I can get, like, a Silk Touch, like, uh, actually, no. If I could just up enchant my armor with what I want, I wouldn't have to worry about needing an enchantment table or anything. And as long as everything has mending, I wouldn't have to worry about getting new armor and stuff. It's just I would like to have, you know, like, stuff like iron or stuff like that to, like, make things. Carry it around. Maybe get, like, two shulker boxes or something at some point. And then just explore looking around for stuff. Chicken pen was over there, right? See if they've laid any eggs for me. For some reason, chickens like to lay eggs when they're just cooped up, for some reason. Yep, I see the fence right there. Ba -ba -ba. So yeah, we definitely need to uh, get ender pearls, which means you don't have to find a blaze thing. And you guys lay any freaking eggs from me, you jerks? No? Wow. How rude are you? I think I'm actually going to make a gate. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh man, if I uh, got some shulker boxes, I could have a box full of maps. And we could just go around mapping the entire area. That'd be fun. Or at least like a, a, a section of it. Lay eggs, you jackasses. Come on. 
See if I can get some seeds. Oi! Can't even feed you, huh? Nope. I'll be back. I need slime to make a lead, right? Damn. I was like, maybe I'll just make a lead and then get him into the boat and take him home. But I don't have a lead. What if I do this? I want one of you to come out. Not all of you. Oh, this is fine. Come on. I still have a boat over here, right? Yeah. I'll just try to lure them into the boat. I need one of you in the boat. Come on. No, not two of you. God damn it. We killed two of them. All right. Hey, buddy. Want some seeds? Want some seeds, homie? Want some seeds, man? There we go. All right, let's get you home. Little chicky. You never get eggs when you want them. But, like, once you start breeding chickens and, like, killing them for, like, feathers and stuff... They're just shitting out eggs all over. It's like, come on. I just want like 12 eggs. Try and throw at the ground to spawn some chickens of my own to start a farm. And y'all are just over here cock blocking me. Get it, cock? Because it's a chicken? Hey. Alright, so. Well, first, make our little chicken farm. At least we'll we'll get two of them together. That way we can do that. We're not gonna actually like worry about breeding them too hard yet. So we'll just kind of go from there, and uh, maybe we'll go back to the Nether after that. At least for a little bit. We'll see how long it takes. Skirt. Okay. First of all, we need to uh, make some fencing. We already have some. We got some wool too. Hell yeah. All right. Now, why don't I just drop off the, the loot that I got? Huh? Okay. Boop, boop. Drop that, drop that, drop those. That. Under food, get rid of this stuff. Arr, 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 arr. I think I want everything else. Okay, perfect. Sheep! I guess I can put the chicken farm right over here, huh? That'll work. So. Eh. And then boop, boop, boop. Boop. Done. Then I can go one. And let's do the other way. One. Two, three, four, five. Yay. Red and white for chicken colors. Hell yeah. Okay. Put that back down there. Like that. We're going to offhand the seeds. That way I can lure the chicken and then place down a uh, fence to keep them in there. All right, chicky chick. You want some seeds? Come on. Come on, little boy. Or chick, I guess. Whatever. Come on. Come on, you almost got it. Come on. Come on, get on land. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Come on, little chicky. Chicky, chick, chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. Come on, you want some or not? You want food? You want some food? There we go. It'll help. That's all you need sometimes. Little wings couldn't uh, get him up. Come on, little one. Come on now. Come on now. 
Oops. Come through the uh, thing here. Come on. Little tunnel. Just for you. Come on. There you go. Yeah, aren't you just special? All right, perfect. Done. Uh, let's use this wool. I'm going to put it there so I can get the other chicken over. After we get one. First, we'll need to sleep real quick, though, to pass the day. Sleep. Okay. Get rid of the uh, stuff there. All right, I have the boat in my inventory. Blah. We'll go get our second chicken. You know, I didn't like when they first came out with the uh, the oars for the boat. I didn't like how it controlled, but now that I like actually have gotten used to it, I can't even remember what the old boats used to be like. I know they were just like oarless and like they didn't seem to have momentum, did they? They didn't have to. There was something about like the switch that I did not like that messed some stuff up, right? Hey, Dolphin, how you doing, man? There's other chicken. Okay. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. All right. Come into my boat. Oh yeah, let's go. Second chick got. And then we just gotta breed them up a little bit. Ba, ba, ba. The water looks so good with shaders on. Man, it's so nice. Dolphin. All right. We're almost at your new home, Mr. Chicken. Don't you worry about a thing. All right, come on now. Can you get up? Do I need to help you too? You got some stronger wings on you, don't you? Come on. Come on. There you go. Almost? Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah, brother. Come on, little chicken. Let us go. Come on, chick. I'll go this way. How did a cow get in there? Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and remove the seeds. Put my shield back on. Kill this cow. Alright, chickens. Y'all have a nice time in there. You need to grow up so I can breed you with the other one. And then we should be Gucci. Alright. Uh... Okay. Let's see here. Food. Boop, boop, boop. Materials. Boop, boop. 
craft and stuff. Let's put my clock away, put that away, get my crossbow and that. Get the map put away for right now. And also the, the mending axe that we're going to use for uh, stuff and things. Is that all I want? No. No, 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 no. I need another rack. Okay. Now we're good. Let's go back to hell, everybody. Woohoo! All right. So, those little fuckers. Look at them. Look at them over there. Look at him. Look at his fucking, like, burn victim ass looking head with his fucking, like, straggly hair and, like, frown face. Just lives in lava. So sketchy. Actually, real quick, just like do this to prevent that uh, from yeah, getting too close to me. Gas reject. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, little guy. How are you? You can ride them too, by the way. Uh, it's very risky. Also, they can ride each other. How are you going to show you? And you can actually ride the one on top. Yeah, you can ride them across lava. I, I'm forgetting if you can just like control them normally. Can you control them normally? Just like no, maybe he's stuck. I don't know. Uh, I forgot if you need like a carrot on a stick or like how you like control where they go. I don't think it would be a carrot on a stick, but rug. Okay. So we got a bastion over there, but I don't really want to go to that because that is uh. Hmm. Kind of scary to deal with without enchanted gear. I would just like to try to gain some levels, though. Let's go up this way, maybe. I really wish that was an open space. Alright, let's, uh... Do this. Perfect. Where was the other bit of uh of up further? I'll leave that. Did destroying glowstone give you uh does it give you experience? I never remember. It does not. I will try to get some, though. Just so we have some for, like, potions if we need it. And I think, uh, looting, or not looting, fortune works on them, so... We should get a lot from this. Yeah, we're already almost out of stack. Hell yeah. Where are we at? We got uh, almost a stack. Actually, we do have a stack. A glowstone. Oh, yeah. That should be all we need for right now. I don't plan on using it for, like, decorations or anything, so... Should be fine. Um, I think there's more behind this thing, so... Uh-oh. We'll just go ahead and do that then. No matter. I thought I saw like light coming from over this, right? Yeah. Huh. That's cool. Go. Let's get this quartz. Maybe I should get like a second pickaxe. One to uh like mine stuff with in the nether. 
and not like just a straight up fortune pick. Oh, I want to go over here. Oh, nothing more over that way. Shit. Uh. If I recall correctly, the uh. God, there's just so much of this damn area around here. Oh, what? Was that another? That's not another bastion over there. Hell no. I'm gonna just cover that up. That's that's dangerous. If I remember correctly, the bastion was over this way. Yep, it's right fucking there. Oof. And the piglins will all just try to kill me if I go over there without gold armor on or anything. Uh, soul sand. Okay, we need that. Hold up. Got some risky plays. So let's cover up some of that. And, uh... I can get some another word out of this too, that'd be most excellent. My me just taking some of your soul sand. Okay. Extremely careful here. Don't wanna fall down and die or get ganked by a bunch of fucking jerks roll down there it can also fall down from above and I do not like that because the place is just full of holes yes and maybe more loot at the top there definitely uh, well we got soul sand that's kind of what we came for to begin with uh first place. That's why we came to the nether, was to get soul sand. So, maybe we, uh, maybe we abandon the bastion for right now. So we can go complete the, uh, the spawn, the, the spawner that I was making. And we can just get experience for days there. Please don't kill me, Mr. Endermans. Okay. Look at that fucker over there. Goddamn. Okay. Come on. Yo, okay. Don't look at the Endermans. Don't look at the Endermans. There's so much lava! God! Everywhere! It's almost like this is the nether or something. Like this. Ah. Quartz. I was hoping for more than just three, but, you know, that'll work. Yes. There we go, the normal nether. Hell yeah. I don't want to go this way. In fact, I think I'm just going to... Try and block some of the lava here. I can get on top of this. I can just quite easily just poop, poop. Cut off a lot of the nonsense going on here. There. Look all my nether rack to do it, but. All kind of cordoned off now, so I can just run right past here. Mm, get a little bit more. Another rack. Hey, perfect. I know some quartz. Oh, that's what it was. You use those little mushrooms to uh, get the guys to run across the lava. Okay. Get a 
couple more uh, bits of netherrack. So much lava here. What the hell? All right. Place another torch here. Of course, I don't see any. Uh... Wait. No, that's not a fortress. Ooh, hell yeah. There was more quartz right here, yeah. Oh ho ho. Yes. I love that biome so much. Hey, no. Damn piglins. You want some gas, huh? You want some? What's up? Gasshole. More like gas hole, right? <laughs> Do that to get rid of the lava. You think you just didn't get closer to me, huh? Huh, asshole? Oh, that missed. Get out of the lava, you jerk! Dude, what an asshole. Get him! Yeah! Last arrow, but, you know. Oh god, that's a lot of fire. We'll just go ahead and put some of that out. There we go. Okay. Oh, this sucks. Okay, screw this. Everything's too clustered together there. Yeah. Go back this way. Let me combine my torch stacks there real quick. Yeah, there's more gold up here. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like a little piglin child by himself, huh? Bully the shit out of him. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I hate piglins. Ah. Oh, one sec. Had to uh, readjust my posture. Okay. Right here. I was a little bit off, actually, damn. Perfect. Sure would be swell if I had some fire resistance potions or something right about now, right? Get some of this lava out of here. I right, some quartz or something down below underneath it, you know, you never know. There's this asshole. Ow. 
by the gods. Not you. There's a fire. Knock it off. Goddamn. Uh huh. We're getting leveled up. Jeez Louise, man. This is insane. I don't like this generation of the nether. There's a good view of the uh, the bastion, though. I think the loot's right up there. Of course, we won't be able to get to it for a while. Now with all those piglins and uh, our unfortunate amount of enchantments on our armor. Ah, here we go. This will work. Down here. Okay. Shift on the edges. Ugh. Another makes you so nervous because one like misstep and you're just like choking on lava and then you die. Piglin. Quick, we're gonna do some trading with the piglin here. This is another thing you can do. And this is why uh, gold is important now. If you have a piece of gold on, the piglins will not attack you unless you either steal gold or you uh, attack them first. Or you like open up their chests in the uh, the bastion, or you just go in the bastion in general. They uh, they're they're not too polite about that stuff. Um, we're just gonna get all this gold, and what we can do, we can take it. And, hey, hey, piglin, yo, oh, you want that gold? Yeah. So he goes over and grabs the gold, and that'll kind of distract them. So if they're, like they're after you, you drop some gold, they'll uh actually go to the gold instead of you because they're like kleptomaniacs. And then they'll drop you something. And in this case, it was uh, the crying obsidian. They can drop like a variety of stuff like potions or normal obsidian or I want to drop like, not my, not that. I'll just drop a bunch of gold there. He'll pick it up and he'll just uh, inspect it for a while. Toss something out like a fire charge. In this case, it was Blackstone. I think actually, if you liked it, I want to just file, uh, throw out five. No. But throw out five, he should. Oh, he only picked up one. Never mind. Well, that's unfortunate. Oops. Ah, I'm going to get up there. Boy, mate! Can I get them to, like, come closer to each other? You want, some, you want some gold, piglin? You want some piglin gold, huh? You can kind of make them follow like a uh, path. They'll just kind of throw out stuff. So we drop some ender pearls here. These are uh, spectral arrows, which are nice. Just gonna grab all the stuff they're dropping. Ring. Ooh, gold. Crystal sand, heck yeah. Oh, 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 more gold. Yeah, this is a, a use for gold. You can do piglin trading. There's also ways that you can, like, put them in a, uh, a container. I can show you guys on my, uh, my multiplayer world what some of my friends did with the uh, the piglins. Um, which is actually really... Ooh, fire resistance potion! Hell yeah! 
we can very easily kill some blaze now. Soul speed, heck yeah. So there's a new enchantment as well called soul speed, which allows you to like uh, increase movement speed across soul sand and just soul sand. Uh, and you can only get it from either looting bastions, um, nether chests, or trading with piglins. Sometimes they'll drop stuff that just has soul speed on it. Sometimes they'll drop normal boots. It just kind of depends. So I'm just going to throw all that away. All right. All right. So yeah, we got a, a decent amount of stuff here. We got some ender pearls, some spectral arrows, which I think we can use spectral arrows with the crossbow, can't we? Yes, sir. All right. Let's try to get a couple more uh, things here. And then I can show y'all once we kind of wrap up uh, my friend's stuff here. Um, I think if I mind that they're going to attack me. I'm actually pretty sure if I do, they will attack me. But let's not mind that quite yet. It's, uh, those piglins are very, very klepto when it comes to gold. If you take gold from them, they will destroy you. At least they'll try to. In most cases. Hmm. And, okay. here. Grab all that. Luckily, I don't care about quartz, so I can just mine all the quartz I want. Come on, level 30. I just want, like, one level 30 enchantment, please. That's all I want. We will hit level 30 before we uh, wrap up here, so we can at least enchant our chest piece. Whether I have to go grind for it or not, we will hit it. I thought I fell in a hole for a second there and had a... My heart started pounding a little bit. I was like, oh god, I gotta die. Didn't mean to mine that many. Okay, got all that. Any more very obvious uh, ports I can get around here? I can get that. I don't want to. I don't want to build up to get it. If I build up, I have to build or go back down. I wonder if there's a villager who takes quartz. Trade. That'd be very nice. If I could just sell quartz to a villager, get a bunch of emeralds, that'd be nice. Because, I mean, unless you're building stuff with quartz, there's no real need. Four quartz. Hello, my fellow gobbler zomboys. Don't look at him. Enderman, stop trying to make me look at you in the eyes. Stop it. Actually, I don't think you can hit me from here, can you? I'm just. I'm not even gonna try it. Never mind. All right, just a little more, and we'll have it. Right over there is some. There's gold down there, too. Yeah. I really don't want to mess with the piglins right now. Just uh, asking for trouble. There we go. 30. Ow. I 
I guess while we're here. So, remember how I said that the, the Basalt Delta, I had never seen one that looked kind of like what we saw before? This is more what the Basalt Deltas look like. They're uh, like plateaued, like areas that have just like lava pits in them. Or, like all this stuff. Kind of neat. This one also is not a very great example. Um, but it's still kind of cool. Alright, let's head back home, enchant our armor, and uh, I can show you the piglin trading system that my friends had set up at the uh, other server. Uh, go around this real quick. I mean, what's nice is if we do happen to just fall into... I might be lost. Uh... Right this way, okay. If we do happen to fall into lava, at least we have a fire resistant splash potion that we can use to uh, not die right away, at least. I think it was looped around this way. Oh. Ah. I mean, I won't say no to free quartz experience, you know? Let me get rid of that. That, I say. Does the mason take quartz? Also, hello. A little underground path here. Nope. I was thinking maybe quartz would be down here, but nah. All right. Okay. Let's see, I went around here. Any, any piglins around? I don't see any. Grab their gold. <laughs> we'll just go back down. Ow! I thought that was a lot smaller of a drop. Aha! I knew it. The lava was hiding quartz. I think if we can get to 32, we might have enough to do the mending enchantment on our chest piece as well. The gag is too fast, man. Also some gold up there, but I'll pass on that. Right, so let's go back this way. Actually, could I? If I can just like... Do this. Maybe I can get some of this lava to go away and there's more quartz underneath it? Hoggers? Question mark. Maybe not. Nah. Oh, yeah, there was. Never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, what else can I drop? Hmm. I don't really need gravel. Okay. Here. Yeah. How's it going, bud? I like how they already have like a saddle pre built into their head. It's uh, very nice of them. Okay. okay. While we're teleporting in there, did it stop? Didn't realize if you pause the game, it does that. Um, I was trying to look up my villager uh, trade menu thing. The 
where is the mason? I'm not seeing anyone who takes quartz on this. Um, might have to scroll down and see the rest of the mason's trades, but I think he's just like metal and a metal, like stone and stuff. Okay. We got our levels. Let's go. Ah, they do. The mason takes 12 quartz and converts it into a an emerald. Nice. Okay. Real quick, actually. Uh, let's put this quartz... into block form. Go, okay. Uh, let's put fire charge in there, the gold nuggets in there, the glowstone in there, nether bricks in there, glow shrooms in there. Put this stuff here, 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 here. I do want one of the soul sands, though. Very helpful to have. Mm, let's get rid of this dirt. Put the weeping obsidian in there. Okay. Put the boots in there. Materials, ender pearls. There we go. These arrows over here. Go away the dirt. Okay. We're going to. Try and enchant some stuff. So, we might not enchant the uh, netherite chest piece, depending upon what the uh, the first enchantment we get is. Uh, unbreaking. Uh, I do not want unbreaking. I'd prefer to have, like, protection or something on it. What about the sword? Knockback 2? No. No thank you. What about the pants? Protection. Protection 4, okay. What about the helmet, though? Aqua Affinity. Okay. And the book? Fire protection, meh. Boots, protection, okay. This one was, okay. Let's go ahead and get the diamond legs first. We'll get the protection, which we have protection and unbreaking. Hell yeah. All right, level 28 now, so we need two more levels to chant something else. Okay, but that's fine. That's our first piece of gear there. Um, I'm actually gonna take these and we're gonna store this stuff back away. Now that we have ants enchanted, we can actually add mending to them. So this way they never break. All right, one set, mostly done. We can increase the protection of protection. No, wait, protection for the max, right? Yeah. I think that's all for pants that really matters. I don't think there's anything else we can put on them, actually. Thorns, maybe, but I don't want to do that because that just ruins the durability. Makes you have to mend more stuff. But regardless... Okay. Um. Let's actually go before we wrap up here. I want to go and finish my uh spawner. So let's sleep first. We'll go to our zombie spawner. And we will complete it, which means I need to also get some kelp. I think I just need 22. If I remember correctly. Okay. It might be a little bit dangerous to do, but we shall see. All right, let's go. Let's see if I remember how to get to it, though, huh? It's been a moment since we've gone over here. So we'll finish the spawner, and then we will show... Uh, I'll show you guys the, uh, the the piglin trading system that we have set up over in uh, my multiplayer world, my friends. And then we will uh, conclude the stream for the day. So we'll see how long it takes us to get the spawner working, because we're going to have to break in and uh, like kill the spawner zombies that are spawning, light the place up to prevent them from spawning anymore, and then we're going to have to build it, and then, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mess, but it'll be a lot more efficient than uh, what we're currently doing, so 
I just hope that I already have the water in place. Also, we, we could take that, take a look at that, now that we're actually geared in, you know, decent armor. But that might be a stream for next time. All right, there's our pyramid. Let's see if I have any stuff in my pyramid, I forget. I do not have anything here. Fortunate. Okay. So maybe I had a bucket or some iron or something. I don't. Okay. We'll just fall down here. Splash. Alright, I can go over here. Thank gosh, I, uh... Close this area so nothing can really get to us. There's plenty of iron here if I need to do smith something though, so that won't be a problem if I do not if I do need a bucket. Okay, this is just my little do I have anything in here? Nope. Okay. Right, okay. This is what I ended up doing. Okay, uh da 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 So We need to light this area up real quick. Okay. Actually, there's a lot more work that we're going to have to do here than I thought. Um, shoot. Yeah. Just light everything up as best we can. So we don't have a bunch of zombies spawning behind us. I think that should be enough. Let's kill these boys. gold armor. I can use that for nothing. Ow. Okay. Perfect. Oh, boy. Okay, so... It's here. And actually, wait, yeah. Didn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just dumb. Don't mind me. Okay. Remove this. There we go. Okay, so that flows down there. We put our soul sand at the bottom. I forgot I already made it. I'm uh, I'm just dumb. Okay. We can go ahead and uh, cover this back up here. We'll need to jump in there after a moment. First. So, they're going to just fall down here. So we need to get our chest over here. And then our hopper there. So that should feed directly into the chest. Perfect. I just need to make a little more room here, I think. Alright, so the enemies are going to land right here. We need to give them no way to get next to us. So they'll be standing here. We'll beat the shit out of them. But I need one... Uh, one more down. Hold on. I need one there and one there. So that way the, the little zombies can't get out. And I can hit the big zombies and the experience will still flow through. So this is our spawn area. Okay. Let me just make this a little bit nicer to see. Perfect. Okay. So all we have to do here now is... uh. Actually, I'm dumb. I, I messed up. I have to get out, so <laughs> I'll do that. And then, uh... Right. Shit. Well, I, I guess... Hold on, let me think for a second, because I, I can't... I think I can get back down if I do this. So we leave this here. Torch is there, oh, this torch is there. So I can't come down that way, I have to come back down this way. Okay. 
That's fine. Um, what we do? Place that. Place that. Place that. Okay. So basically, we're creating a uh, an air pathway so the soul sand will rise up. Or not the soul sand, the uh, Okay. Go. So they'll come up here, then they'll start right over here, and then they'll drop off the edge. So now that we have solid blocks, all we got to do is go back down. And I'm actually not going to do that while I'm here. We're going to do that. So now the soul sand should be making uh, bubbles. Maybe? Yep, okay, I saw him. Alright. Dunsky doodle. Alright, so now I just gotta go ahead and destroy all of the uh the torches. Which is gonna be a whole whole mess. Um reach from here? Yeah. That, that, okay. There. All right, now they're going to start spawning. All right, so we can see it in action. So if we go over here now, and we just wait. Need a couple of those. I'm actually going to put a... So they'll drop down, and then really quickly... One hit will kill him. So that's so how that goes. I want to make a door for down there. Just in case for some reason something spawns in a weird way I don't expect it. Okay. Okay, excellent. So now we can just wait here and have all of the uh the boyos come to us. Actually, could I just put slabs there? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is basically the spawner thing, so we can wait a little bit longer, and we should have zombies coming up and over. So if we wait here long enough, they'll just keep dropping. Keep hitting them. Don't have to wait for them to, like, die from just hitting them over and over again, you know? So we can just do that. And uh, that's that. So our spawner's complete. I'm probably going to grind some experience between now and and the next time we play Minecraft, just so we have like enough experience to enchant our stuff. But it's not like I'm cheating or anything. I'm just doing stuff off stream. Since uh, the world is, after all, hardcore, so I can't actually get into uh, cheat mode. Anyway, over to our, uh, oh, who's on? DJ Strat on, okay. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick the uh, spawn thing that we have also i made a little a nice little like quartz area here uh, to kind of farm soul sand and this is actually leads to our nether or our end portal i got over there so i'm gonna real quick hop on down here i'll kind of show you what we got so also the soul sand like i was mentioning in the earlier it lets you run faster if you hold the soul sand, uh, or the soul speed on. Because this is how fast you're moving with soul speed, so it's like, zoom! Most faster than normal walking and stuff, but if you jump, it ruins your momentum. So, I dug this tunnel by myself and all that stuff. And as you can see, all my tools, except for my pickaxe, or my axe, are, uh, netherite, along with my armor. So... This is essentially the armor set that I want to have in our hardcore mode once we uh, get to that point. So, I gotta go upstairs now. Of course, you got your enchanted crossbow as well. Alright. 
Ooh, they added some more stuff. Nice. So, this is a... Uh... Wow. Uh, before, we used to only have, like, uh, two guys. And they didn't have, like, all this blackstone around. So, stuff definitely changed. Push button to feed the prisoners. Wow, they really, uh, changed how, uh, this works, huh? I'm so confused. I, uh, I don't know how to explain what's going on here. Where does this stuff go? Um, okay. Anyway, the way that this works is behind this wall, there's a, uh, well, if you look just behind them, there's a dropper back there that drops out gold ingots. And the gold ingots uh, are in the dropper. You apparently press that button and it gives them gold ingots. I'm not sure, how, how do we like gold ingots only? So apparently you put gold ingots in there and then it feeds them. But where does, where's the output shoot? Is it these? Are these the output? I don't know, I'm so confused. They changed it so much since I was last here. Anyway, so you got the piglin trapped behind the wall. You hit the dropper, dropper drops an ingot, and it'll keep dropping ingots over and over um, if you let it. And then it, whatever the piglin drops will drop into that hopper, and then the hopper feeds into something. So that's kind of how that works. I'm not sure I'll get this set up on my hardcore world because... I'm actually not sure how to lure penguins uh, to it very easily. But, yeah, they definitely did stuff while I was offline. Wow. Very nice. So we've got, like, a bunch of spectral arrows, a bunch of crying obsidian, uh, a bunch of ender pearls, like a, a bunch of just stuff that the piglins drop and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much that. Um... Yep, yeah, alright, that's all. I, I got nothing else to show. So, let's, uh, let's, let's hop on out of there and we'll uh, end things for now. So, thank you all for joining, hanging out, having a fun old good time and whatnot. And, uh, I don't know if we're going to be playing Minecraft tomorrow or not. There's a game that I would like to try that is, uh, um, God, it's, what is it called? I don't remember. Fuck. Fate, I think it's called. It's a game that I played when I was really young. And I was like, this is kind of a cool game. And then I just never kind of. Yeah, it's called Fate. It's an older, 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 older RPG, uh, like a dungeon crawler RPG thing that I played like a couple of times back in the day. And then I've never played it again. And I've never really beat in it because I, I was not really good at it, and I was like, no, I'm not good at this, I'm going to stop playing and whatnot. So we might play that. I haven't purchased it or anything yet, so we'll see if I decide to do that, or if we'll go play some more Minecraft tomorrow. But uh, anyway, that's the plan for now. Um, I'm also going to be uploading some stuff to YouTube here that's not gaming or uh, story-related. I'm going to be starting a, a podcast, which is... Not really a podcast in the conventional sense where there's like subjects they talk about. I'm just going to like ramble about stuff like I tend to do. So I'm just going to upload me rambling about like a certain subject and they're just going to go up whenever I feel like talking about something. So uh, I'm going to be calling those plague casts. So if you uh, just want to hear me talk with very low production quality or video in the background, uh, feel free to watch those when they come out. I don't know when I'm going to be releasing them. I have to do a... Uh, couple other things before them but anyway check out youtube over on youtube.com slash plug and shiki and you can follow me on twitter on twitter.com slash plug and gaming and uh yeah thank you all for stopping by as always and have a lovely time bye for now